Welcome back to the Penny Loafer Bomb Squad. Luke is here doing another Let's Play. Today I'm doing a Let's Play of an indie game by the name of Banished. It pretty recent, just came out on Steam. Uh, I've been following this guy for a while now. It's a single dude that's been working on this game. It's a city simulation game. Um, I don't know what I can really compare it to. Uh, there's no fighting or anything like that that I know of, at least from what I've been reading. Uh, from the past couple months, but uh, yeah, you just you build this village and you manage the populace there and you know, other stuff like that. Pretty simple. But it looks like it's pretty intuitive, so this should be a pretty good time. So I'm going to start a new city here. Uh, okay, so it looks like it randomly generates a name. It has map seeds, which is pretty cool, so if you find a pretty cool one, you can. I'm sure there'll be forums for this that you can post map seeds to. But uh, two different uh, styles here for train type. We'll go. I'm gonna go with a large train size right away. Fair climate, disasters on disasters. Nice. Um, okay. So a moderate game begins with five families. Clothing, food, firewood, tools, and construction materials are provided. A storage barn has already been built. Some seeds for fields and orchards are available. Okay. Well, I am going to make up my own name. And uh, let's see. What should I name this? Uh, shit. Um, Smallville. No. 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 Uh... Uh, cock. Ah. Let's see here. Clemenville. Clemenville. Okay. No, I got a better one. Loferville. Right on. Okay. So, we'll give this a shot. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, what else do I know about this game? Uh, here's a good picture. Uh, so, yeah, you set up your farms. Uh, there's trading. So, you set up a port and you can trade up or trade with other, uh, other nearby villages. You manage herd stock. You manage wood stocks. All that kind of stuff. Anything, it's a normal RTS kind of strategy game kind of stuff. But it's in a SimCity style. Uh, Non-grid based that I know of. Okay, what do I got here? Looks like I got some villagers. And they're going to a storage barn. Which has hide coats, iron tools, and potatoes. Okay. So you can already see the menus. Most of the menus are going to be looking like this. Pretty straight to the point. Fairly technical. Uh, looks like I can't really do anything with that. What's this? Stockpile of firewood, iron, logs, and stone. So it gives you a pretty good amount of stuff right away. Uh, so, okay. Take a look at the map here. Holy shit. It's really big. It's really big. So can I rotate the camera down? No, it looks like it's top-only kind of isometric. Is that the term I'm looking for for this? Anyway, so, do they have anything planted? I mean, what do we got down here? Okay, simulation speed, 1x, tools, okay, this is the menu, I think. Paths, okay, so it has a query tool, shows people, and this is supposed to be fairly advanced, um, the guy's been working really hard on getting the, the simulation pass set for each villager so that they're the most efficient, so they're not kind of wanders, wandering out into the woods looking for the chicken coop. Uh, roads and bridges, storage markets and trade, town services, food production, resource production, removal and destruction tools. Okay, uh, so town services, what do I got? I got a well, well, I don't know if I need a well right now. Schoolhouse, hospital, town hall, chapel, and cemetery. So everything everything your village would need, really. Where's homes? 
I think I want to set up homes. Homes and housing, okay. Wooden house, stone house, and boarding house. Okay. Let's play some homes down. Oh, this is actually a pretty big house. Oh, shit. Okay, so what do I have to do? I think I can just place this anywhere. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, I can tilt it a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. I don't know how to rotate. I think that's going to be my big problem here right now. So I'm just going to... A wooden house cannot be placed in this location. And this, I really like this. It shows you where it can and cannot be placed. Oh, I already placed it. That's why. Okay. I really need to learn how to rotate. So, let's see here. Uh, statistics, overhead, show help and reference material. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a little too much. And options. Okay. Uh, game. Input. Ah. Perfect. Rotate structure R and F. Okay. Perfect. It looks like there was different housing models that might be available. So let's press F. OMG. Oh my god. I love when they have different models. I just... Oh, I dig that. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Okay. So each one of these houses right here is going to be the path. So that will be annoying later on. Okay, what is this lady doing? Okay. Your name is Citizen. Oh, oh, there's your name. Rihanna. Okay, so there's no last name. And you are a female. You're full health. You're pretty happy. You're 16 years old. You're a laborer. Oh, great. Great. I got child laborers. Uh, clothing. Oh, there's clothing conditions. That's pretty cool, actually. So there's actually a reason to keep making clothes. You're very educated to some extent. And you have a tool. And you're idle. And there's your inventory. I like that. That's pretty cool. Alright. Um, so. There's no fields. We're in a valley. Looks like there's some stone up here. It's raining. And there's weather in this, too. Uh, other than rain, it snows. It actually goes through seasons, so you actually have to be mindful of your food stocks. Um, okay, so I don't know how many homes are needed. 44% complete. And what's this do? What's this? Total number of workers and number of citizens at this location. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, um, rides faster travel. Okay. Let's place some roads down. Kind of give myself a little sense of direction on this. Perfect. Okay. And there isn't money. Um, I think there is an actual wealth level that the city can have. But it's not for you, it's for them. Or something like that. I think I think the money in this technically is the materials. So you can build whatever you want as long as you have the materials for it. And... Let's get some foraging here. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, well, let's rotate this. I'll place you back there. And then I'll make a path. I don't know how much quicker makes it, but I guess it's better than walking through tall grass. I think everyone's kind of just wandering trying to figure out what the hell they're supposed to be doing. Um, herbalist. What? Oh, okay. So they do medicine and stuff like that. Okay, so I need... Oh no! So what the hell did I build? Use the chop logs and a fire which you can use the heat. Ah, I built a wood cutter. Okay, I need a forestry lodge. I'll put it right next to it. Oh no. Okay, I'll put you. Put you right here. Put the two kind of the two like, similar professions next to each other. And then 
What are you doing? What do you want? What does that house mean? See, I don't really know... I don't really know what you're doing. The citizen doesn't have a home. Well, you guys are building homes, aren't you? Uh... Okay. Well, okay, yeah. Oh, shit! They're flattening out the land, too. Okay. <laughs> a tavern, great. So, my citizens can get drunk. Um... Food production. What do I need? I can do an orchard, I can do a wheat field. I don't think I have any kind of orchard or anything like that. I know it's said it might, I don't know. I think it might just come with a building with food supply. Um. Okay, so people are actually working on things. What are you doing? What are you doing, Garolin? You are idling. Why? Why are you idling? Can I have you... Okay, how do I... I need to be able to figure out if these people are actually going to harvest or not. I don't need storage. Provides water for putting out fire. So it's actually not for thirst. Maybe they just get that from the river? Not quite sure how that works. Um, do I have to set a zone? Uh... <laughs> okay. Whoa. Holy. That thing is massive. So... Would they... How does that work? So will they gather up these stones? Or do they just need them to be next to a mountain? Well, I don't know. Probably next to those rocks. Well, let's see what I got, I got here. I want to make sure I got some of the basics covered. Uh, ah, here we go. Assign jobs. So, I got ten laborers and they're not doing, they're not doing shit because they're being lazy. Let's do that. Let's make everyone a builder right now, except for a couple of foresters and a couple of wood, or one wood cutter. So that should... Ah! Okay, perfect. So they're actually doing something now. Oh, why do you have a question mark? The citizen has no job. Well, hell yeah, you do. Get to work. So, I'm thinking they lay the foundations first, and then from there... Oh, okay, awesome. Perfect. Now we're up to speed. So, 10x. Let's get this baby going. That's one of my biggest pet peeves, for the record, is when you have a simulation game, and you cannot speed it up. I, uh... I don't remember what game it was I was playing as when I was younger, but... It would not let me speed it up. And everyone was walking like this, maybe a little bit slower, and it was just terrible. Oh, I just made it way too... Oh, my God! Deer! Oh, I need a hunter. An area to define hunting. Okay, so I can just put you out in the boons. Oh, uh, well. This is a tricky one. So, is there pre-designed spawning areas for deer and shit? There's some deer. So can this be way out here? Or should I put it closer to the homes? I kind of want it nearby because there's deer right there, but this looks like this might be a really... Oh, I'm going to put it back here. Oh! Okay, so it's placed. And I won't worry about a path right now until I figure out what's going on. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. So three people live here. And a whole bunch of others live here. So there's some children and some builders. 
Okay, well, I don't need everyone to be builders anymore. So where was that again? Uh, okay, here we go. Let's get a couple builders out of here. We'll leave that at two, and we'll assign some woodcutters and some foresters. What else should I put? Well, that's pretty much it for now. Oh, fishermen. Okay, what about Matt? I have tons of firewood. I have some logs, stone, and iron. I have some hide coats left and some potatoes. Okay, well, let's... That guy's... Who is this? Darn it, Merle. Quit staring at the deer and do something. Okay. Um... How do I get fishermen? Oh, here we go. Right next to a river. Oh! Yes. Okay. Uh... Let's find a good spot for this. There's rocks in the way. I'm thinking right over here. Oh, that works out perfect. Fishing dock. 30 wood and 16 blocks. What do I got? Well, I don't have that much log. So we'll have to wait. So... Fuel in it. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And I can disable it too. I mean, well... I mean, that's cool, but at the same... I suppose if you have multiple locations, you can disable one of them for a short amount of time and then bring it back if I need to. So I was going to say I could just change the workload, or the workers. But I suppose it just gives you multiple options. Um, look at this tower, though. It's a cool little watchtower. Oh, and you can plant them in. Oh, okay. So they, they recycle. That's pretty cool. Um... I think... Man, they're needy. 34. I need a lot of wood. Uh, is there a limit on how many people can work here? Okay. Oh, what's this? Reserve of logs is low. Okay, let's jack that up. Let's get this going. And... How about that? Oh, okay. And I must have taken one. I don't need any builders. Let's do that. I think that'll be okay. Probably take me a little while to kind of figure out what I need to do on a, a workload balance. Because I don't know if they're going to be able to chop it as fast as they're receiving. Let's speed this up. Awesome. Um, is there any way I can tell what season it is? Shows the limits based on resource production, paths, increase priority, overhead map. Oh, that's a nice little mini map. I'm gonna leave that up. Um, early summer. Okay, it's spring. Oh, it's okay. It's midsummer. Okay, what's her nuts is becoming an adult. Um, statistics. Okay, so here's my resources. I'm out of wood completely. It's 81 degrees out. Uh, six people are questioning their life. Uh, clothes is good. Tools and stone is good. Food stored is... I don't know if I can make it through a winter, but... We'll get this wood situation figured out and then we'll continue on. Let's see here. Let's slow things down a little bit. Okay. Oh, great. So I'm starting to get wood in. Uh, I do have some stored logs. So, let me change... I'm going to change my priority. And... We'll do that. Perfect. Um... Does everyone have a home? Four. And... 
five. Okay, so I have nine people, I think. How many people do I have? Oh, shit. I got 12. Oh, I got more than 12. I got 18 people? Oh, shit. Okay, let's build a home or two. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Let's cram these people in a little bit. I don't think they'll mind too much right now. And let's check out some food here. See, I'm wondering, I should actually plant things right now. And then when fall hits, then they can start harvesting and then they can start hunting in the winter. So, oh, oh I can zone my own areas. Oh, thank you. I was really, really worried that it was going to be a t like in any RTS for the most part. It'd be a predefined area, like a 9x9 nine nine or something like that that you could use. But this is great. And we'll do cabbage here. And then we'll do peppers here. So that needs to be removed. Uh, okay, so I can't actually do anything with that until it's cleared out. So with that, take these guys down a little bit. Oh, I should have known there was 12. That's how many workers I have. So they took that down on their own. Well, I suppose they're, uh, the foresters. So, let's make... One more farmer. I want to get these crops going as quickly as possible. Two of four. So do I have to wait for them to clear it out? I don't know exactly how this works. Ah, here we go. And peppers. Everyone loves peppers. At least I do. Perfect. Thank you, Nanette. Printon and Deal. Oh, I need another builder too. Oh, I can see this getting overwhelming pretty quick. Ah, I'm just clicking all these things. Okay. Let's get rid of one forester and make one builder just to take care of these buildings because I'm not too big of a rush. Speed it up just a little bit. Aha! Awesome. 61 degrees per. Okay. Well, better than where I'm at, where it's high of 10. What's this? Production limit has been reached. Okay. So 5 is the max. So... Everything else will just go into storage. I wonder how many you get out of each log. I wonder if it's 1 or 2 or something like that. I guess I don't really know. I got 206 on firewood and 17 on logs. Um, are you guys planting it? Let's see here. Oh, perfect. Is the same size? Because they both have a food limit of 5,000. Huh. What is this? Number of citizens work in this location. Okay. Oh, what do we got? The reserve of food is like, oh no. Okay, we're gonna have to get some people gathering. I think that'll probably be the quickest way to do this. Hunting cab. Well, shoot. Ah, there's some deer and stuff out here. What's this? Oh, I already got a hunting cabin. Oh shit. All right, well, that's me paying attention. Um, this mini-map isn't really doing anything for me, so I'll just close that out. I like the reserves, though. I'll leave that there. Wood I'm still not too great on. Um, yeah. It's raining. Another great day at Loperville. feeling it rains a lot. What's up? 
You are idling. I don't know why that is. Let's see what we got. And... Well, you shouldn't be idling. Bump them down. Get a couple more builders going. Get these things taken care of as quickly as possible. And speed this up. Not too bad. I think I'm doing alright. Uh, winter will definitely be the big test on that, though. 41 degrees? Oh, no. Come on, you guys. You're out playing in the rain for me? What's up? What's going on? Oh! Shit. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's get you hunting. Somebody. Hunter. Perfect. Bump down a builder and get another hunter out there. So who's going to be the good old hunters in this? You're a hunter. Okay. Let's watch her. What is your name? Nanette? Hi, Nanette. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, there's another deer. What are you going to do? No, don't scratch your butt. What are you doing? Come on. You gotta feed your families. I don't know if you have a family, but since you don't have a last name, I can't tell. Uh. Hello? Are you gonna. Hello? I wanna see you shoot something. Or stab something, or whatever the hell you're gonna do. Get it! No, you walked right past it! Oh my god, you could have got him! No! Not as cold as finding somewhere. Oh no! Oh no! It's snowing. Oh Jesus Christ! What season is it? Thirty-two degrees. You're cold. It's winter. Oh my! That came about real quick. Okay, what are you? Oh no! Okay, let's slow this down. I need to see what's going on here. Uh. Oh, well, you have firewood. That's good. Um, I don't know. Okay, you have food. I have a feeling your food reserves are out. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys don't have any food. Oh, good. You have some food. You guys are hoarding all the food. Oh, and my... F oh... I didn't plant it early enough. I planted it in the fall. Oh, I should have done those right away. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry, citizens of Loferville. I failed. I failed. Well, I think I'll end it here on this one. Uh, as winter is in full swing. It looks like I have three citizens that are hungry three citizens that are without a home. I don't understand because some of them are packed and some of them aren't. Um, I think those are the ones that are wandering. Uh, yeah, those ones right there. I'm so sorry, Gay Nellen. And... Come here. Come here. And Theo. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh! Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's middle winter. I think this is a good time to end it here. Um, so far, I'm actually having a really good time with this game. This is exactly what I was expecting, plus a little more. A um, couple things that I learned, I guess. Uh, plant crops or get them gathering immediately. Oh, I really failed on that. Maybe I shouldn't have sped the game up as much as I did. I, I didn't think the seasons were going to come through that fast. So, um, but anyway, tune in uh, for the next episode. I will be doing another one. I'm going to continue this game. I'll probably do a little series on it. If you have any suggestions, comments, um, do those below. Like, share, subscribe. All that wonderful stuff that helps me out and uh, gives me gives me feedback on how I'm doing and 
where I need to improve and stuff like that. And I really enjoy doing these videos for you guys. And uh, be, yep, be sure to check this game out on on the Steam Store. It's twenty dollars. Uh, so far, I I'm liking it a lot. And uh, I'll catch you next time.